Good day Murta, how's it hanging? You mean other than being too old for this arm, stuff? I've never been busier, the offers came flooding in after we wrapped up shooting the fourth lethal weapon movie and haven't stopped since. I am already due to appear in half a dozen movies that aren't out until next year, that's despite my role in Dirty Grandpa. I don't think that one did my reputation any favors somehow. That Toussaint Louverture directing debut project stalled again what with Hugo Chavez dying on me, and those damn Venezuelan filmmakers kicking up a stink. It will have to stay on the back burner for now anyway until I get the climate change denying, rug wearing fool out of the White House and back in the sewer with the alligators where he belongs. Other than him spoiling my day tweeting threats to start World War 3 everything's tickety boo. How's life been treating you partner? Yeah, I'm Bonza mate. I haven't beaten up a woman for a while, and now I'm laying off the anti-semitism and homophobia the work is finally starting to trickle in again. I'll be back on top of that sexiest bloke list before you can say Sheila crack open another tinny for me will ya? Yeah, life's real beaut now I'm back in the bit so, cover. Gotta say though, my belly thinks my throat's been cut. I had a dinko's breakfast and I've got Buckley's chance of getting some fair dinkum bush tucker in the everything Amiga green room. It's scaffold back there. Whoa horsey, I didn't follow a word of that. What's with the Aussie Linko rigs? You haven't been Australian since you left Neighbours 30 years ago. I was never in Neighbours, you're thinking of Russell Crowe. Not every Australian on the planet wears a string vest and a cork hat and has been in neighbors you know, that's just racist. About the accent though, that Muppet who writes for everything Amiga thought it would be a hoot if I played a stereotypical Aussie and ramped up the ochre to 11 on the dial. He even offered to pay me in dog biscuits if I ran with it. I'm surprised he didn't make you speak like a Harlem badass cracker. You're thinking of Beverly Hills Cop. Do I look like Axel Foley to you? Humph, and you call me racist? For the record, there's no lazy stereotyping and lethal weapon, the screenplays are awesome because Shane Black wrote them. You know, the guy who played Hawkins in Predator in 1987. He made me the least black black detective in Copland, he's above all those cheap gimmicks. Even Chris Rock is a sensitive psychology graduate in the fourth movie. Still irritating as hell, but then the producers aren't magicians. More to the point, how's the OTT funny accent gig working out for you? It's about as funny as a banana in the tailpipe to be honest, and anyway, I've been trying to give up the doggy treats. In fact I'm only smoking to take my mind off my dog biscuit problem. What dog biscuit problem? Well I've been chasing more cars lately and uh, you know, when I try and lick my balls I keep falling off the couch. TMI Rex, TMI. What are we doing here anyway? Well Scream Hatcher or whatever he calls himself these days is writing one of his never-ending megatomes all about Ocean's multi-platform lethal weapon game released way back in 1992 and he wants us to promote it. Huh, so this is like a trailer. Cool, I'm in. I still don't get why we're talking with girls' voices though, and if you hover a mouse cursor over us it says Danielle and Melanie. It's Scream Snatcher again in it. It's the only way he could get women to talk to him. Still, it could have been worse. At least we aren't wearing dresses and lipstick, and there are no ribbons or bows in our hair. Keep your voice down, you don't want to give him ideas, and stop dissing the guy. After being put out to pasture by the new whippersnapper upstarts on the Lethal Weapon TV show we have to tread carefully or he might decide to write about Dick Tracy or Roger Rabbit instead. Then how will the kids ever know we started it all back in 1987? Let's do it on the count of three. On three, or three, then we jump. We're not jumping anywhere you old fool, we're explaining what our game is all about. Hey, cut it out. You're no spring chicken yourself. Focus, man. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, that's Leo's line. I get muddled, it's been so long. So, it's a platformer starring us, only you have to play one character at a time. 
Ocean probably thought we'd bicker incessantly if they partnered us up. Go figure. Any way you run around shooting and kicking your way to solving crimes inspired by the first three movies. Most of the mags said at the time it has nothing to do with the movies but they were clueless and misinformed. They were probably bribed by Mr. Joshua to make it look bad so no one would buy it, we faded away and he would have free reign to peddle the white snorty stuff. There are five levels altogether. Three can be tackled immediately in any order with the last two being unlocked as you progress. After each level there's a boss battle and the whole thing is geared towards earning back our stripes following a double demotion for screwing up a bomb deactivation incident, which was Amurta's fault if we're honest. Did you really think I'd let that slide? I said to cut the red wire. You cut the blue wire and nearly got everyone killed. You did not. You said to cut the blue wire so that's exactly what I did. If you'd have let me cut the red wire like I wanted to we'd be lying on the beach right now sipping pina coladas enjoying early retirement with a fat pension in the bank.